What's going on guys? My name's Jack. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to showcase how you can completely remove objects from any video. This is scary accurate. We're also going to showcase how you can isolate any part of a video you want as well. No green screen needed, no alpha channel already built in. We're talking about how you can literally just take an object out of a video, completely isolate it. It looks pretty damn good. And we're also talking about how you can do motion tracking online no you know hour-long renders inside of adobe after effects your slow computer it doesn't matter that it's slow and it can't do motion tracking because we've got this amazing tool we're going to be jumping into runway on the screen right now is runway now if you're looking for a you know basic chops and cuts editor oops split this or oh, move this here you know what i mean then this is not your editor right just go to premiere pro go to davinci resolve go to final cut whatever that's where you want to you know do your chops and cuts i would go as far as to say runway is more comparable to an after effects we're going to go ahead and draw your attention to the magic tools over here and let me just go ahead and and and, and press in painting in painting is one of the first magic tools that we're going to break down this is going to enable you guys to take any object let's go ahead and bring my camera down here in fact i'll i'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see how big my eyes are when i do this effect and how impressive it is but we're going to grab the in painting tool and let's say i didn't want that car right say i just want to remove this car from my entire sequence all i do is draw over it i just draw over it and the in painting will analyze it and completely remove it i can then just press done but if we go ahead and press play you guys can see the car is completely done now watch right there do you see right there there was a little bit of a reveal so then we can split this this clip down and let's just go ahead and chop it over here let's just go ahead and press play again and then let's just delete that little bit in the middle then i come to to the start I press play and the car that was there has been completely removed and you know you can't even notice right this this tool is free by the way right like 720p exports completely for free and uh, i think i think you can only have three projects though runway is undeniably a powerful tool that was just one of the three magic tools that they got right there i would bet that they're working on a bunch of other cool magic tools so let's test out another one all right so uh, i visited rotterdam right in the netherlands a while ago like three four years ago something like that and i've got this cool clip of of these crazy square houses right here and my gimbal i wonder if we can use the green screen to take my gimbal and isolate it remove it from the background so let's, let's press green screen and let's test this theory out so i'm just gonna go ahead and click it and see if it figures out that that entire thing's an object wow look at that it did now i'm just gonna go ahead and also select my hand and again i'm clicking it and the ai is just doing its job of recognizing that that's an object and isolating the object this is very similar to like the rotoscope tool in adobe after effects right this is going to completely isolate a specific object um, or a specific subject in our video let's see how well this did a, a decent bit of roughness there's absolutely no doubt that there's a decent bit of roughness but let's put this over the top of another clip all right so i'm dragging another clip down here i'm also going to click on this bad boy and and maybe bump the feather up to like uh, let's go to 33 okay also, let's drag it over here to the side so it actually looks like it, it genuinely is a gimbal being held in this scene. And we press play, and, and, and then just like that, that is, that's very funny. Let me drag it over to the side. It actually does look like we've just walked in with a gimbal, and then I'm just kind of greeting um, us. By the way, look at the t-shirt. Video Production Plus, my private members community for video creators. Let me just do a quick break. If you guys are not already part of Video Production Plus, I really don't know what you've been doing. We have weekly content releasing, asset packs and templates, courses and programs. You can even land paying client work inside VP Plus. This is my private members community for video creators, guys. Come join the first 100 members get 50% off. We're about 50% capacity right now. So come join us in VP Plus. The link is down below. Go ahead and click join and and we can't wait to see you inside. But anyways, back in runway, the green screen effect, as you can see, is going to be sort of case by case, right? It's going to be dependent on the clip that you are trying to attach it to. But as a random clip on our first try, it, it didn't do a bad job at isolating the gimbal. And it looks pretty good. If we wanted to throw this further into, you know, another program and really polish it up, I'm sure we could get it looking decent. Magic tool number three. This is motion tracking. If we come over here to motion tracking, let's go ahead and tap it. I want to showcase to you guys how easy it is to motion track inside runway. So this is from a, a fashion promo video that I shot for a, a dress brand called Tatan J. Now, I want to see if I can get this model who was walking across the table to have some text attached to her simply by clicking on her head and 
That's it. Just clicking on our head once. Awesome. Now I'm going to put that up here and I'm going to come over here to my clip. I'm going to get my link and I'm going to link it to to Tatton J. Looks like it pulled it over there a little bit. I'm going to pull it up here just to arrange where I want it. And I'm just going to go ahead and press play. Now, as you can see right there, it is motion tracked onto this particular model. And um, it is a bit of a poor motion track. Let's try again. All right, I deleted the dress clip because that was just a bit of a poor example. And let's see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and just track the text to my head this time instead of the model's head. And this time I'm renaming the brand Jack on J. Instead of Tatan J, Jack on J. Now when I go ahead and press this, Jack on J is motion tracked directly to me. And maybe I move it around a little bit. Maybe I move it over there. Boom. Maybe maybe it's down here and it, and it kind of just follows me. But overall, it motion tracks it pretty damn well. Okay? You see, it, it lost the tracker a little bit there. Obviously, this is now a new clip. So it's, it's just a bit confused, right? Natural stuff, standard stuff. But look at the power of motion tracking just like that. I am very excited by AI. Just, just down to the basic point. Um, of there was you know very minimal innovation in video for a long time, right? I'm very passionate about these new AI video editing tools and I want to mess with them. I want to showcase them to you. Without further ado, I'm going to end up the video. We're going to come back with another banger soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Check out Runway ML down below and tell me if you guys are creating some cool stuff with it. Also, join us in VP+. I'll see you guys there. Peace.